All right, so I just went ahead and cut this side out with the core software. It looks like it does go around this as well as it goes around the uh, rock guard as well. All right, well, let's go ahead and get started on this one and see how it fits. All right, so I'm guessing this is gonna stay pretty tight up against that um, trim there. So let's see then if that, let's say with that being the case, let's go ahead and, and just do a little tack down around that. And then let's see what we can do up here. This looks like up here, we're just going right to the edge. So we're not going to be covering anything on this back edge here or over here into the Okay, now we will squeegee out down to the badging or trim as I've been calling it this whole time. All right, so it does hang over into the door, which is great. We're gonna go ahead and come down to the bottom of this piece of trim. See how this looks. All right, so we looks like we can run it pretty tight. Just try not to bump the edge, but it does wrap in there a little bit. All right, now I did get a little bit of dirt, just a little bit that came out from behind the this emblem. And we did pressure wash, I mean, I pressure washed that as good as I could. So that might be considered a downside. And so, I mean, a lot of these kits that we install, we actually make adjustments to. So I, I would have taken this off, extended that pattern underneath there, and then we wouldn't have to worry about any of this dirt or anything coming out from under, behind it. So this is, you know, so we do install kits here, but most of the time I make some decent adjustments to them anyway. So it's rare that we're installing the exact kit that's in the computer. All right, so let's go ahead and and get this taken care of here, all the way into this recess. All right. So the reason I wanted to get this down right now was because I don't want any more dirt. If any water gets on it here, I don't want it flushing more dirt down. At least now if it runs down, it'll hit that edge and then just run over the top. So we are gonna go ahead and leave this just sitting like that because I want to get the, the rest of this fender down. So now we can go ahead and stretch this into place. See what they've got us doing here. Looks like we're coming right up to the edge. I'm actually hanging over just a little bit, but that should be okay. 
go ahead and tack that part down. So it's coming right up to this edge and then it will wrap into the engine compartment a little bit. Okay, that feels good. I'm just double checking to make sure that this is hanging over the correct amount. Okay, so let's get all this top down and then we'll bring the rest of the water down. I'm only going to come to about here and then we're going to leave this little bit to make sure that if we need to stretch a tiny bit, we can. All right, let's see what the round the headlight looks like now. All right, it looks like it's barely going to curl over this edge at all. We'll go ahead and work our way up towards that headlight now. Now that we know that there's really isn't much anything for stretching, we can tack the rest of this down. Yeah, so this comes down right to the bottom. So we know that we've got the correct coverage right here. And actually, let's take a look at some. You know, with some of these patterns, it's a little bit hard to know exactly what they are trying to do. We could just kind of guess at it. So, if this is supposed to be right at this line where it bends into the fender a bit, or I'm sorry, into the wheel well, if this is supposed to be right on the edge, that would put that there. It does not really wrap underneath that much. All right, so let's, let's squeegee this out and then kind of take a closer look at that. All right, so we have just a tiny bit wrapping over the bottom. And then we do have a little bit wrapping into behind the headlight. Get some tack solution in here, flush out these edges, and then we'll go ahead and wrap them in. And then we'll move on to that bottom part and the wheel well. There isn't much here to wrap underneath, but it does wrap under there a tiny bit. So let's see if that's going to stay down now, or if we're going to need to wait for that to dry a bit and then come down and push it down. All right, so I went ahead and pushed that down and then dried that edge out. We'll see if that stays stuck down. Okay, so let's get this bottom part here of the back edge of the fender. All right, so we did bring this down off that, out of that recess and right to the top. I'm sorry, uh, yeah, out of that recess of so that valley and came right up to the peak here. So we'll go ahead and pull this back up and put some more slip under there. And we're gonna be bumping up right up against the guard right there. Actually, that's pretty, that fits real well right there. Let's go ahead and get this very bottom down and then we'll come back to those other parts. I wanna make sure this bottom is lined up real well. All right, so let's see what we've got here. It's just like the other side, we'll go ahead and squeegee this out. All 
Hmm. Looky there. Due to the fact that there's a relief cut here, we're not having, you know, and it's much shorter here. It's not hanging way over. We're not having an issue with that popping up the same. Uh oh. Oh. That black plastic guard at the bottom didn't get a good enough bath. Alright, so let's double check and make sure that we've removed all of the slip from this area. Looks good. Alright, let's go ahead and start wrapping into the wheel well. Okay, so the last time we went right to tack here, tack solution, so let's just do that right from the beginning. Tack underneath, slip on top. And that's what we're gonna do is go ahead and start right here again. Actually, I don't know if we started there on the other side. I'm just saying we're gonna start right here. Since this area is gonna be a little bit more difficult. All right, let's get this squeegeed out. We're gonna go ahead and take this one all the way over. Last time we went from here to here and then in. This part we're gonna go ahead and just take it right all the way. Having some issues with this starting to really tack up before I'm ready for it to in certain spots. I'm gonna go ahead and just put some more uh, slip solution on that edge and then we'll see how that works. Okay, so we'll go ahead and wrap this around. Okay, so you can see this area, these areas here actually wrap in to the back side and then there's some bolts back there. So we'll go ahead and tuck those all the way in. Okay, let's go ahead and wrap these on back here then. You know, I mean, that's not horrible and it's really gonna protect that paint back in there. Well, I don't know who's ever gonna see that, but I also don't, you know, I don't know how much damage that would take back in there. All right, let's wrap, finish wrapping this. Okay, that's all down. So let's get this part around this bolt. That one's not fitting exactly the same. So it's gonna need to be trimmed a little bit. I don't know if that's something that I did right here, or if that's a problem with the pattern. I don't know if you can even see this, but like this one has a big gap here on the upper side of that bolt. And then this one has a bigger gap on that side. It's like they need to be stretched apart more, but Okay, that's installed. Uh, let's go ahead and wrap up into the door. And wrap this in. Okay, this bottom part in. 
So as you can see here, when we start to go over this, it, you get some little wrinkles right here because there's gonna be excess material because of the way that this fender kind of comes out and then down. And so what I like to do is I like to put those parts down first and then work away from that excess. So some of that excess will actually move down the line and then up the line. Let's see if we can get, I don't know, with these doors, you always, you're not sure if you open it up too much, it gets tighter or you give yourself more space. If you open it up, not enough. Kind of got to play with each car and kind of see how that works. So now here again, because we're it's coming out, we're actually going to get a little bit of excess right there. I'm going to push that down and then work that up. Hmm. It's kind of bunching up right here still. It's like it could it could have used to have been stretched down more, uh, but that's not really possible. Let's see if there's anything more we can do with that. I'm guessing not. All right, so right here where there's that relief cut i'm gonna actually try pulling up on it a little bit while i wrap it around and see if i can get rid of some of this excess right here and then we'll try taking the rest of it down i mean we're talking about real minimal adjustments right there's not much we can do mm, that didn't help that much all right but i think actually that went really that went down just now which may have done the first time too around if i had put the towel in there looks like it's going to pop up a little bit again but we'll go ahead and heat seal that down tomorrow all right so we've got a good edge here let's go ahead and try this one out okay into the engine compartment and then we are done for today i get to go home Figured to be about nine o'clock before I got out of here tonight. So I've got 15 more minutes to wrap into the engine compartment. Seems like plenty of time. All right, let's get a little bit of tack in here. So this is, so back here it does wrap over a little bit. I'm gonna get this inside corner first. Okay, then we'll get this part down. Looks like it's hanging over a little bit extra right there. So probably gonna need to trim that. That'll be fine though, that's easy enough. Okay, and then starting back here, so that we're at a good camera angle, we'll go ahead and start working this stuff down. Let's see. Okay, that looks great. Okay. So I did start at that relief cut and then I'm working my way back that direction and then I'm gonna work my way down. I'm gonna start back over here first at this and then work my way towards that relief cut. Okay, this is hanging over a little bit right here and the relief cut is right basically just over that edge. So if it got dirt in it, you still shouldn't be able to see it, um, but it is hanging over, the material is hanging over a little bit right there. All right, so that's the end of this all install today. Go ahead and let these sit overnight Come back in the morning, heat seal the edges. Terrific, well I appreciate you guys taking a look. If you found anything useful or helpful, 
please like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.